This is the Wise Cam uh, version 2, and this is the only one that that firmware updates available to turn this into a webcam. But um, these are these are plentiful and still for sale for a reasonable $19.99. So in any event, to um, go ahead and get into the lens so that you can adjust it, you can just take it, pry off this little cap, little black ring. And then there's a little rubber gasket here, so you can pull that out. Let's see here. Get some finger, thinner fingers. So, so with that out, there's the lens. And so the lens has a little bit of glue on the top and a little bit of glue on the bottom. And all you need to do is take and just turn it until the glue breaks so that the lens turns freely and then once you get it set up for your 3D printer you can just go ahead and turn this so you get the focus dialed in exactly where you want because these really aren't designed for close-up work at least that's not the way they come from the factory but once you adjust the lens that's fine I also went a little bit farther since I mounted this on directly on the um, supports for the x-axis and Y axis there on the side, so it's a little bit heavy. So I continued to take it apart and see, so, you know, took this bottom off and because uh, it's got a magnet in it and it's, it's a little on the heavy side. And I took this piece out. So anything that you can do to save a little bit of weight is going to help um, if you're mounting it directly on the moving parts of the 3D printer. Um, it's not very heavy once you get all this other junk off of it and you've got a great 1080p high-definition camera that you can use with your 3D printer.